The Wake County Animal Center is hoping more people keep adopting their dogs. The Clear to Shelters campaign mostly went well for them, but they still need more help. WRL's Chris Lovingood has stopped in to meet some of the animals, hoping to win your heart. For Clear the Shelters on Saturday, the Wake County Animal Center had 57 cat adoptions and 30 dog adoptions. They still have plenty of animals that need to be taken home, except for these little guys here. They've already been spoken for. This face, that face. Each needs a home. Why are you here today? To adopt a dog. Why do you want to adopt a dog? Because he looks cute. You know, you already have one dog at home, but you're considering Rolls Royce. What do you think having that new dog in your household is going to do? Uh, probably get, make it better for our other dog from Companion. And it's not just dogs finding homes. I actually think that all of our cats have been adopted. They were, by the way. But still plenty of dogs are waiting for you to come get them during the Clear the Shelters event. Megan Thomas with the Wake County Animal Center says 40% of the dogs they've received were surrendered by their owners, but not by choice. These are people who don't want to give up their pets. They're crying in our lobby. They have these heartbreaking stories. Stories like rising rent prices, a landlord not allowing pets, even moving. Kayla Sky McNeil knows that pain well. I've had dogs when I was younger, and then we moved, and we couldn't keep the dog, and I've wanted another one ever since. Well, good news for her, because Svensson is going home with the McNeil family, as other dogs find a forever home, too. I spent uh, the first six years of my life in the foster care system, um, so I know the foster care eyes, and like I mean, he looked at me, it was like I knew that, that pain, the look in his eyes. All right, so you just watched this report, and you're at home wondering, how can I do my part? Just go to pets.wake.gov, and you can look up the profile files for the different animals you might be interested in adopting. Make sure you try to come out as well by noon because they are going to be open then and waiving adoption fees for any dog that's been here for more than 15 days. In Wake County, Chris Lovingood, WREL News. What a great deal. Guess what? It doesn't stop there. Dozens of people ran for pets in Lee County today. was all a part of the 15th annual Run for Their Lives event in Kiwanis Park in Sanford. It's one of the biggest fundraisers of the year for Carolina Animal Rescue and Adoption. We have probably saved on the average of 300 dogs and cats every year. That is amazing considering how small we are. That is amazing. 300 dogs and cats a year, they say. Runners could participate in the 5K, the 10K, or the 15K race. You see all the runners out there having a great time.